anyways, check out this interview with Mr. Lackey. Hi, I'm Tina from the Spotlight team, and I'm here with Mr. Lackey. Why don't you start off telling us a little bit more about yourself? Uh, I changed careers at one point. Uh, I went to Marquette University, and then I uh, was a writer for a magazine for a number of years. And then I started working with younger kids, and I started to switch careers, and I went back to school to become a teacher. And I've, ever since I've been teaching fifth and sixth grade, uh, and I've been here at um, the Tenney for my fifth year now. Now that we know a little bit more about you, our first question is, is there anything a teacher or student has taught you? I'd say the one thing I've learned the most is from students is technology tips, uh, specifically on like the Chromebooks. Uh, keystrokes, generally students know a lot quicker than I do. Um, and one thing we've, uh, they've taught me for sure is how to do like a split screen a little bit easier um, on the Chromebook so you can kind of work with two different uh, documents at the same time in front of you. It's been very helpful. Our next question is, what is your favorite part of this job? My favorite part of teaching has always been um, having uh, students grow um, during your your year with your year the year you're with them, uh, specifically with writing. Um, a lot of students come in very raw and unskilled, maybe at certain uh, techniques. And in sixth grade, we 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 grow a lot and we learn how to do different things better, which is great. What made you want to become a teacher? When I was uh, writing for the magazine, I started working with uh, younger kids just through uh, outreach groups and uh, was working with a kindergarten group at that time. And my initial thought was, wow, this is really fun. Um, I think I'll switch careers and go back to college and get a teaching license. And I, I chose to. Um, I went back to school for a year and a half, got a teaching license, and uh, 15 years later, here I am still teaching. How long have you been working this is my fifth year at the Tenney and my ninth year in Massachusetts teaching. If you weren't a teacher, what would you do? I'd probably still be a writer. Uh, probably want to be writing online, either for like shoe reviews or covering golf or covering running or something like that. Do you have any kids? If so, how old are they? What are their names? I have two children. Uh, my oldest is Spencer, uh, eight years old, and he's in third grade this year. And I have a uh, five-year-old daughter who just recently started kindergarten. How many pets have you had or wish to have when you were younger? Uh, currently at our house we have two pets. We have dog Penny. She's just recently turned two. She's a red-haired golden retriever. And we have a 10-year-old cat named Bo. And when I was a kid, uh, I had a white Bichon Frise dog and his name was Spike. Who's your favorite artist and why? Uh, I'm a big music fan, and I would say my, my top three are definitely the Beatles, Bob Dylan, and Bruce Springsteen. And I guess I just I just really like their music. I like how they have a variety of different songs and lyrics, and uh, they're really just their longevity, and they're very creative and different. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? I guess if I could have a superpower, it would be speed, like the Flash. Um, I'm a big runner, and to be able to run fast be an amazing talent. Our final question is, who is your favorite Disney princess? I probably would have to go with my daughter's favorite princess, which would be Elsa from the Frozen series. Thank you, Mr. Lackey, for taking time out of your day to talk to us. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Hi, I'm Aya from the Spotlight team, and today we're going to be interviewing with Armani. So our first question today is, what, what's one thing you liked about Mr. Lackey? That I, one thing I liked about Mr. Lackey, um, when it came to the World Cup, like for soccer, he'll let us watch it at the end for dismissal. So that's one thing I liked about him. What's one thing Mr. Lackey has done to make your class sound better? He's let us listen to music during class. So that would let us stay on task and be focused. <laughs> What is one thing Mr. Lackey has done that's changed you and made you a better person? One thing Mr. Lackey has done to change me and make me a better person, he was always hard on me, which made me more productive and like to stay focused more. So that's changed me. Thank you, Mr. Lackey, for that. Mm -hmm. What's one funny thing Mr. Lackey has done? Well, he'll make jokes just to get us on task and just to get us to laugh too. Even when we are off task. Thank you for taking your time out of class to come down to your interview. No problem. Thank you. Hi, I'm Maya from the Spotlight team, and now we're with Sherry. So, for our first question, what's one thing you, you like about Michelle? 
And one thing I like about Mr. Hockey is that he was really helpful and he took it like step by step um, if you were like confused on your work. So our next question is, what has Mr. Lackey done in the major class time today? Um, Mr. Lackey has like let us sit wherever we want, where we feel comfortable as long as like we're on task or we're doing our work correctly. What has Mr. Lackey done that's changed you or made you a better person? Um, Mr. Lackey has changed me or made me a better person because he like made me realize that um, seventh grade is going to be really hard and he, he helped me a lot during sixth grade. Thank you for taking your, your time out of class to come get an interview done. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Aya from the Spotlight team, and today we're going to be interviewing Jack. What's one thing you liked about Mr. Lackey? One thing I liked about Mr. Lackey was he always made jokes. That was the best part. What has Mr. Lackey done to make your class time better? One thing Mr. Lackey did to make class time better, he always, like, if you were hungry, he let you eat, like, a little bit of, like, your lunch and snack. So you weren't hungry. Why is, what is something Mr. Lackey has done that's, made you, that's changed you or made you a better person? One thing Mr. Lackey used to do to me personally, like he used to always show me like you don't have to do your work like the same as everybody else. So it taught me to like be different and be your own per person. Mm -hmm. What's one funny thing Mr. Lackey has done? One funny thing Mr. Lackey has done when I was in sixth grade, during lunch he used to carry a, a cup in his back pocket and just walk around with it. And he was the funniest thing ever. Just got back on a run. Go check out the new room with this huge on. Up next. Whew. Hi, I'm Alani from the Spotlight team, and today we're here with Mrs. Hudon, and we're going to be asking her a couple questions. But before we get started, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, so I, I w grew up in Methuen, went to school in Methuen, and now I teach in Methuen, and I've taught here at the Tenney for 17 years, and I've taught second grade 27. I was in Lawrence 10 before that, and I am married to Mr. Hudon, and we have a poodle named Winnie. Okay, so our first question, we know that you've been teaching second grade for a long time, so what is your favorite part of about uh, teaching second grade? I think my most favorite part of this grade is that they make so much progress from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, and they still really love school, and um, we can still have fun while learning. So I think that's what I love the most. Okay, so we know you love teaching second grade, but if you could teach another grade, what would it be? I think the only other grade I would probably feel comfortable doing is third grade because I'm just so used to the younger kids, and I think... I don't think I could do upper school, <laughs> so I'd have to stay in third. So you've been teaching for a long time, and I'm sure there's good and bad days at school, but what makes a good day? So I think for me, a really good day would be when my lesson's going really well and the kids seem to really be understanding the information and they're, you know, going back and forth with me and there's good communication and the outcome is great. So teachers get nervous too, that things aren't gonna go well, so it's good when things seem to be going well. So now that we've gotten to know a little bit about like your teaching life and all that stuff, let's learn a little bit about you outside of school. Okay. So our first question being, what's your favorite store? Well, that's an easy one. So I would have to say Home Goods because it's a little bit of everything. Now for our next question, what's your favorite movie and why? Oh, so my favorite movie is an old one. You probably don't even know it. It's Pretty in Pink. And I just, I don't know, I just think it reminds me of when I was in high school and I loved that time in my life. Yeah. So I would say that was it. So what's your favorite sport to play or watch? So I played field hockey in high school, but it's definitely ice hockey because my husband is a coach and he was a ref. So as soon as we got together, our life became hot. Or my life, I guess, became hockey, hockey, hockey. His already was. So we're huge Bruins fans. So I would definitely say ice hockey. So I'm sure there's a lot of great things that's happened in your life. But what is the best thing that's ever happened to you? Well, I guess I would have to say the best thing that's ever happened to me is meeting my husband and getting our own family together. So I've been married for almost 10 years and we like I said at the beginning, have a poodle, Winnie. Yeah. So together we have our own little family, and I would say that's... Okay, to end it with our final question, what is a piece of advice you'd like to give to the students watching? 
So I would say don't let the bad days get you down. Set some goals. If you have a bad day, it's just one day and you get to start over the next day. So just keep moving forward and stay as positive as you can. Thank you, Mrs. Hedon, for taking some time of your day to come and talk to us. I'm Alani from the Spotlight Team, and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Isabel from the Spotlight Team, and I'm here with Mia, a former student of Mrs. Hudon. Uh, so for the first question, what's one thing you liked about Mrs. Hudon and why? Um, she gave her students a lot of motivation to do their work, and she was a really great teacher with them. All right, moving on. What What is your favorite moment with Mrs. Yudon and why? Um, I really liked how she drew these parties to help her students learn based off the topic we were learning in class. For our last question, what is one thing Mrs. Yudon has done to make you a better person? Well, she taught me a lot, and it really helped me with my classwork, which made me get into more groups and stuff. Now we're here with another former student of Mrs. Yudon, Audrey. For our first question, what is one thing you liked about Mrs. Yudon and why? That she was like had a really fun personality and did a lot of fun activities. What's your favorite moment with Mrs. Yudon and why? Um, when she got herself in the face. For our final question, what is one thing Mrs. Yudon has done to make you a better person? She made me like more hard. For our last former student, I'm here with Marissa. The thing I liked about Ms. Huron is how she always made class really fun with her little directed drawings. And, yeah. What's your favorite moment with Mrs. Huron and why? That's a tough one. I'd have to say when we would decorate the classroom. Like, I remember one time it was Jackie Beanstalk themed and I got to stay after school. And she turned her big pole into a big bean sock. So I like that part. For a final question, what is one thing Mrs. Hudon has done to make you a better person? Uh, I have to say, she always encouraged us to be like the best version of ourselves. And always try your hardest no matter what. And yeah.